What is up, YouTube? We are back with another video. This week's video is actually me in the nursery. I'm gonna show you guys a couple different trees and shrubs and kind of how leaf drop is going with uh, the hybrid poplar, the hybrid willow, the silky willow, the dappled, and also the red osier because all of them kind of have a different timing on when they're gonna leaf drop. So that's really important when planning your next tree or shrub line is what to expect on when the leaves are gonna drop, when they should mature out. So I'll kind of break down each of those shrubs and show you guys what they look like in a nursery at this time. So here I am. This is the silky willow shrub here. This is a two year old shrub. We select harvested last year, which is the first year growth. So now this year we're gonna completely harvest uh, down to about eight to 12 inches off the stump. And so as you guys can see here, this shrub line right now is maxing out probably around seven to eight feet tall but for visual line of sight it's getting to be about six feet tall and this is a second year growth deer protected because we have an eight foot deer fence here in the nursery we used fabric we never actually watered this just natural rainfall and these cuttings have done very very well we did a light fertilization to start with worm casting some fish oil to kind of give them a little bit of a boost not overpowering it but i'm going to be testing this coming spring different fertilizers that you guys could be using on your shrub lines and tree lines, whether that's pelletized things, or if it is just worm castings, which is worm poop. And then also using some sort of fish oil, um, organic route, if you guys wanted to use that. So right behind me here, like I said, is the silky willow. It is doing very well at holding its leaves. So it hasn't really started its browning phase yet. It should be able to hold for at least another two to three weeks if not more, depending on how good and how hard the frost is a hitting. Cause we've already experienced three or four nights now that we've had a pretty decent frost here in uh, West Central Wisconsin. So anywhere down South, now you guys are gonna be able to hold your leaves a lot longer. So, which is a very good thing because you guys wanna be able to use this to be able to walk into a stand for deer season. So hopefully down South, you guys should be able to look sometime into late November, I would guess to when the silkies are actually gonna drop their leaves for the year. So they haven't started up here in Wisconsin, but within the next couple of weeks, they should start browning and then they'll leaf drop here real quickly. So you guys, you know, coming in January now, look to be ordering the silky willows. The silky willow doesn't tend to get browsed on by deer like our hybrid willow, the red osier dogwood. It does very well at battling deer brows while still expanding a nice root base and so as you guys can see here i'm about six feet tall so this shrub line within two years has now maxed out at right around eight feet like i was saying before now this one shrub here and i'm gonna show you guys here real quick what you guys should be expecting from inside this root base and base of the actual shrub itself so this right here is the base of one silky willow shrub. Now, as you guys can see here, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight main trunks, as you could say, coming out of the silky willow. And then that continues to branch and leaf out farther up. Now, this year was a tough year on cuttings, tough year on trees and shrubs in general. The lack of moisture has really put a damper on growth. Now these silky willows, like I said, we never watered them. We just let natural rainfall uh, help them out. But as you guys can see here, I mean, these leaves have definitely taken a hit and the growth in general has kind of taken a hit from what we would have liked to see this year from our silky willow, but they did able to get a very nice growth in that second year of growing season. And so now I'm gonna walk over to the dappled willow. This is more of a decorative shrub. Deer love to browse on this one. So if you're gonna plant this one anywhere near deer, deer traffic areas, then I would suggest definitely protecting them. But as you guys can see here, this is kind of a green leaf, lots of different leaves, and it kind of turns a really cool pink in the springtime. So these are really cool decorative shrubs. If you guys were looking for a decorative shrub, I would suggest using the dappled willow and the red osier dogwood because in the winter and the spring, those produce really awesome, vibrant colors and they look really nice you know, along a roadside, maybe your driveway, anywhere that you would really want a decorative shrub. As you guys can see here, it is still holding leaves very well. 
they're getting to the point now with a couple frosts here to where they should be dropping within the next couple weeks. The silky willow will hold their leaves uh, a week or two longer than the dappled willow will, but this still does offer a nice screen. It's more of a decorative screen that you would definitely have to protect anywhere near deer in a deer trafficked area. So the dappled willow does hold its leaves into October, but the silky willow will hold it a couple weeks longer. And a quick thing I do wanna uh, touch base on is the spacing for shrub plantings is a cutting every linear two feet. So when you guys are doing the math on how many trees or shrubs, I should say in this uh, instance, is every two feet is a cutting. So if you had a hundred feet, it would be 50 cuttings to do that screening. So then the staggering is a cutting every four feet within the same row. So every four feet will be a cutting and the spacing between the two rows will be four feet also. So six feet fabric will do the trick at keeping the weeds down and uh, keeping minimal competition from your trees and shrubs. So now I'm here with the hybrid willow tree. This is one of our two trees that we have. We have a hybrid poplar and hybrid willow. I really wanted to show you guys the hybrid willow. It is doing pretty well at holding its leaves. Now you can see in the inside here, because of how dry it was this year, the leaf drop is gonna be much sooner than it would have been if we would have had a better summer, spring, summer, and fall for moisture wise. But they have been doing very well. This is another uh, two year area of our nursery here. And a lot of these trees are maxing out somewhere around eight to 12 feet tall. So this is two year growth. Deer have not been able to nip at any of these because the deer are going to absolutely hammer these hybrid willow. So you're definitely gonna wanna protect these. These guys have three main trunks typically. So when it starts at a cutting, a two foot or 12 inch cutting, you should expect a three trunk system here with lots of leaves and branches compared to the hybrid poplar, which I think I will walk over there and show you guys because I wanna show you guys the comparison between what hybrid willow and what you should expect and what a hybrid poplar and what you should expect and when the leaf drop is for that one. Cause they are starting to drop at the hybrid poplar way quicker and way sooner than the hybrid willow. So you guys can see here, the hybrid willow, this is one tree trunk or tree cutting that started out that now has three main trunks here. And so this is a very healthy tree that again, we never watered, but if you were in an area that you either had sand or just a complete lack of moisture, then I would have definitely been watering these guys. They love water. You can't overwater these guys. We have planted them in swamps, in marsh areas, really wet area and conditions, and they have just thrived. So I would definitely look to plant these guys in a wetter area or in an area that you are able to water them. So here is the comparison. So this fence right up here is eight feet tall from right there. So right there, that's 10 feet. And anything that really gets a lot more sun, you're gonna see gets much taller than the stuff that gets kind of hidden. So that's another example of these do pretty good at even just partial sunlight, but you're going to see a growth slowdown compared to what you would see if you had a full sunlight, full moisture, no weed competition, and what you should expect. So if you guys were able to protect these, give them water this year because we definitely needed it and keep the weeds down, you should be expecting within two years, something along the lines of this area right here, which was about, I would have to say all of 12 feet could be pushing 14 feet and they create a great barrier if you were to compare and pair them with the silky willow out in front. So what I would do is a silky willow double staggered hedge here facing the sun to the south and then a hybrid willow double staggered row on the north side so that when this thing gets above the 12 feet mark that the silky willow is gonna max out at, it's able to keep the sunlight without shading that silky willow. And the staggering on the trees is six foot now and it's three foot linearly. So when you guys are doing 75 foot uh, screening, you would need 25 cuttings. And so the staggering is the spacing. We like to still keep it at four foot spacing between the two rows, but the staggering within the row is now six foot. So there's a tree at 
let's just say six, then the tree in that same row is gonna be at 12 foot. Then there's gonna be a tree in between, but on the other row at nine. So three foot linearly looking at the tree line, but when you get within a row, that's when it's gonna be that six foot spacing. And if you guys have any other questions, uh, you guys can definitely email me at Tom at Big Rock Trees. I will definitely answer any of those questions that you have. And just a quick note here, this is our hybrid willow first year. We planted this, of course, like anybody else that has a small business, your projects are always the last thing, of course. So we always plant our nursery a little bit later than what we like to ship out and do for customers. So this was planted in middle of June to late June. And so this is a first year growth of the hybrid willow in our nursery. Now the deer have not browsed on this and what you should really be expecting, I mean, this right here is pushing eight feet tall. It's looking great. It's got its three main trunks, but it's pushing somewhere around eight feet. So when you guys are planting and expecting things, if you're able to water them, protect them from deer the first two to three growing seasons, kind of depends. And then keep the weeds down, keep the deer out, and then water them if need be. You guys should be expecting some growth around that six to eight foot range if planted in May and have good growing conditions. So here is the growth. So we got hybrid willow here, second year growth. This is the hybrid willow restock, first year growth. Then over there we have the silky willow shrubs and that's at about six to seven feet tall right now. And then we have next year silky willow, first year growth right there. That's gotten about uh, two to three feet, three or four limbs. And then the dappled willow right there, maxing out probably around the same as the, the silky, just it's gonna start losing its leaves here quicker than what the silky willow and the hybrid willow are going to lose their leaves. So here I am in the hybrid poplar area now. Now these are also a third year growing. Now we harvest the hybrid poplar, the hybrid willow. Most of the stuff after year two is getting harvested every single year. So here, this is our gonna be our second harvest season of this hybrid poplar patch. And you guys can see here that the leaves are starting to drop, starting to lose the leaves, starting to brown quickly where you could see the hybrid willow is still holding that nice green color. And as you guys can see here too, that you're starting to be able to see just the poles, not the leaves. So if you guys are looking for a screen that's able to hold its leaves longer into the fall, then I would definitely suggest the hybrid willow. The hybrid poplar does great. It grows extremely fast, has really nice big leaves, but it does tend to lose those leaves uh, much earlier than the hybrid willow does. But this is still maxing out somewhere around that 14 to 15 foot range and this was harvested down to about a foot off the ground so that's 13 feet from established stump in that third growing season in one year it grew uh, 12 to 13 feet tall so that's amazing deer aren't browsing on this it's the same with anything else if you don't want to lose any sort of growth then i would definitely protect them definitely use uh, weed barrier and definitely if you go through a drought give them a little bit of water weekly, bi-weekly, anytime you're able to get out there, just give them a little bit of water to keep them going and keep them growing and, and keeping them healthy. And I just want to give you guys an idea of what the hopper poplar are looking like now. You can start to see through there, it's losing quite a bit of leaf drop there. And most of these on the exterior wise are starting to uh, brown for the year still creating a great screen up here. And if you were to pair it with a, a shrub like the dappled or silky willow, it would still be a very, very effective shrub, but it does start to lose its leaves as you get lower. And then within the next couple of weeks, it will have all of the leaves dropped. And if you guys have any other questions about anything, uh, you, can, you guys can just reach out either my phone number at 715-644-8132 or send me an email at tom at bigrocktrees.com. That way you guys can reach me. Any sort of questions I can 
answer them if you guys need a quote on an insulation or just need help in figuring out for a project either what cuttings to use or how many cuttings to use to kind of make a plan for uh, next spring's order then just reach out to me i'm glad to help i try to answer every single piece of uh questioning that i get because at the end of the day i want you guys to find 100% success. We're chasing 100% success every single time with every single customer. And I'm going to try to answer every single question that you guys have because I think that information is key when planting the cuttings because there's a lot of questions because it can be kind of a confusing thing. And I really appreciate you guys watching this week's video. Hit the subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next one.